Hi, I'm Isaac Pendergrass, and in this video, I will teach you how to get the most out of the One API Samples Browser for Visual Studio. One of the major problems with getting started on a new software platform is that sample code, which provides instant context, is often not readily available and squirreled away in some location within the install path. If you find the samples, it is not uncommon to find that they won't compile or have syntax issues. Samples are the first thing a new adopter sees and are often given the last and least amount of thought. We wanted to provide a first-class solution for what could easily be considered the primary onboarding asset, and the One API Samples Browser for Visual Studio does just that. I feel the need to mention, again, that this is a first-class sample solution. You don't have to search the internet or your computer for the One API Samples. They essentially find you. All you need to do is install one of the One API toolkits, which can be found in the links provided. The best part? All the samples are guaranteed to work. The browser also offers offline access to samples. When Visual Studio starts up, the browser saves an archive of the samples repository locally. You can turn this functionality off by going to the Intel menu and selecting One API Options. In this view, you can disable the feature or change where your archive is located. Offline access ensures that your samples are always up to date with the online samples in the event you lose your connection. There are two ways to gain access to the samples browser. The first is using the Intel top level menu and then selecting the Browse Intel One API Samples menu item. You may also navigate to File New and select the Browse Intel One API Samples menu item. The samples browser is organized by One API Toolkits. Aside from the Getting Started category, every main category corresponds to a One API Toolkit. We've exposed every sample for every supported toolkit, even if you haven't installed them. This allows you to take a peek at what other toolkits have to offer before committing to them. Here we have the list of samples contained within the selected category. To keep things simple, only bottom level categories will contain samples. So if you select a category and those samples show up, just keep going. They're there, I promise. Over here, you'll find the sample information panel. This is where you'll find the sample language, description, and the README link. This panel is also home to one of the more useful features of the sample browser, the dependency checker. In the samples browser, each sample is interrogated for its dependencies. If a sample is selected that does not have its prerequisites met, a warning will appear near the bottom of the panel. This message alerts the user that there are components missing that will ensure the sample builds and runs properly. In the message, for each missing dependency, a download location is also supplied. It's that simple. If you want to build and run the application, install those dependencies and you're set. But don't fret. If you just want to take a look at the sample, you are not blocked from viewing it. Just know that the sample may not behave as advertised. Sometimes you don't know exactly what you're looking for in a sample, and you could use a little help. We've got you covered. Our search functionality is second to none and designed to be useful to anyone, from beginner to expert. By typing in a string in the search bar, you are searching all categories, sample names, and descriptions. We cover a lot of ground to help you find what you're looking for. In addition to that, all of their substrings are also searched. Once you've found the right sample, there's only one thing left to do. Click OK and the sample is downloaded, unpacked, and opened within Visual Studio. If you want to change the location and directory name for your sample, then there's a couple of things to do before. You can customize the locations for your sample here. You probably noticed that the README file was opened up for your convenience when the sample was opened. This is the README for InBody. If you read this really closely, you'd understand that InBody is a simulation of a dynamic system of particles, usually under the influence of physical forces, such as gravity. Earlier, I promised you that all of our samples just work, and at this point, you can trust me or insist that I prove it. I thought you'd say that. If you just press the play button here, you'll see the compilation information in the output dialog here. And look, a successful build, just like I promised. To learn more about what One API has to offer, follow the links provided. Thanks for watching.